Uterine sarcomas are very rare in the GYN oncology world. Only about two to four percent of uterine cancers are uterine sarcomas. So you can estimate that probably a GYN oncologist maybe has two or three active patients in their practice. Um, most uh, um, uterine sarcomas um, present in the form of leiomyosarcomas. Carcinosarcomas are the most common uterine sarcomas, but they're kind of more classified as uh, more traditional endometrial cancers as opposed to a sarcoma group. So after that, uterine leiomyosarcomas are the next most common type of uterine sarcoma. And those patients, patients with uterine leiomyosarcomas, typically don't present with uterine bleeding. Maybe they were found to have this um, tumor because they were having a hysterectomy for fibroids. Um, or perhaps in a metastatic situation, they were found, you know, when they presented to the ER with abdominal pain or shortness of breath and then were found to have metastatic disease that was then biopsied and proven to be uterine leiomyosarcoma. So a lot of the times with these early stage uterine leiomyosarcomas, perhaps the G1 oncologist got the patient after the patient was operated on by a gynecologist. Um, and then you're sort of faced with making treatment decisions in terms of chemotherapy or observation.